Okay, in this video, I am going to show you how to properly use a pipette. <clears throat> to start with, you have the pipette and you have the pump. You want to make sure that the pump is already depressed like this, so it's completely pushed down. Um, when you get your pipette, it may have some, th some uh, solution already in there, and that's okay. Um, go ahead and just gently push the pump onto the end of the glassware. Now you don't want to force this and then end up breaking this glass in your hand. So just firmly, but not, don't shove it on there. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now you are going to draw up your solution. I'm going to scooch over here just a little bit. You're going to draw up uh, the solution. When you do this the first time, um, you're just going to go ahead and you're just going to roll down with your thumb. And I've just drawn up a little bit and I'm going to go ahead now and depress to release the liquid and just let that um, drain out at its own pace until it stops. So now it's no longer dripping out and you'll see that there is a little bit of fluid in the bottom that did not come out. That's okay. In fact, it needs to be there in order for your calculations to be correct. So this piece of device is calibrated to hold um, that much and not dispense. So once you've got it, once you've got your uh, calibrated liquid in there, go ahead and draw up to the zero line and it helps if you'll tilt the pipette a bit to the side so that it doesn't have to fight the full force of gravity to travel up into the tube. So if you'll lay it to the side just a little bit and then gently roll down on the pump until you come up to about the zero mark. Now, you're not going to go all the way to the zero mark. You're going to be a little bit shy of that. So you can see here my fluid level and then the zero line is actually right here. So I'm going to go ahead and read this now and I'm going to record this value. Um, since I'm units of one here, that means that each of these marks or the scale is a tenth. So right now, if I'm at zero, this would be 0.1, this would be 0.2. So I'm a little bit between 0.2 and 0.3 but closer to 0.2. So I'm going to record my initial here as 0 0.23. So 0 0.23. Now the lab is going to tell you how much you need to dispense. So let's assume that I need to dispense one milliliter. I need to add the original volume, which is the 0.2 three plus one and that's where I want to dispense to. So I want to dispense down to 1.23. So whenever I dispense, I'm going to dispense into the speaker. Hopefully we can see that. I'm going to dispense down to one down to 1.23. And to do that, I guess I'm going to have to move this. I'm going to just gently uh, squeeze this uh, release button and I'm going to do that slowly enough that I can kind of watch it travel and I'm going to go down to about one. Okay, so I tried to hit 1.23 but I actually went a little bit beyond that. So we need to record that number. Um, it is 1.123. Four, a little bit past the four, so one point four, we'll say one. Okay, now that those two values are going to allow me to calculate how much I've actually dispensed. Since I'm done with this, I'm going to go ahead and dispense the remaining back into the reaction uh, container because. I don't need any more and to do that quickly I'm just going to push down on this rolling lever and you'll notice that when you do that 
it gets rid of almost all of the liquid that's even in there. And then I'm just going to take that off and set that down. Okay, let's talk about calculations.